What's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I recommend doing a base bump and the specific formula I only recommend. So, stay tuned. a little bit different than my regular videos. Typically on my hair technique videos, I show you a model from start to finish. But in this video, I wanted to take a specific technique and really break it down for you because this is something that I found to be a little bit challenging and a little bit hard and sometimes it doesn't turn out the way you want it to. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how I recommend doing a base bump on a client's hair. Now, again, like I said, a lot of times this doesn't turn out. A lot of times this can actually be something that turns out really bad. And so I'm gonna break it down exactly how I recommend doing it and the specific formula that I only recommend. I do not recommend other formulas, and so let's get started. All right, so this is our before, and as you guys can see, we have not had highlights in a little while. So her roots are pretty dark, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and give her a full highlight, but I'm not gonna show that in this video. So if you guys wanna see the full highlight technique and what I do for that, I will link that video in the description box below. But after I highlight her, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do my base bump technique. So let's fast forward to that. Okay, so I'm gonna be mixing up our base bump formula. Now, this is personally the only base bump formula that I recommend and use. So we're gonna be using Goldwell Top Chic 10P, which is their permanent line, and then we're gonna do equal parts of 10 volume and 20 volume to get 15 volume. Now, the reason why we're doing 15 volume is because I wanna make sure that there's a little bit of lift, but not so much lift that we get hot roots or too much warmth. And when I'm mixing up my base bumps, I very rarely go above 15 volume. In fact, typically I'll do about 10 volume or 15 volume, depending on how dark the client's hair is. So we're gonna mix this up and we'll head on over to the bowl. So a lot of you guys might be asking, what is a base bump, when do you use it? And so typically I use a base bump on my clients that are getting highlights, they're not getting a root shadow because it's the opposite of a root shadow, but those clients that have that darker root that just need a little bit more blending and that also want a little bit of toning at the same time. Now this can come into play and can dramatically change the way that your blondes look but it has to be done right and it has to be the right formula. So I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly how I do my base bumps, what I mix up, and how you can incorporate base bumps into your services too. So this client is a perfect candidate for a base bump because you guys can see her natural color is pretty dark uh, next to her highlights. You guys can see that she's got probably about a level seven, six-ish, and then we have some really light highlights. So what a base bump is gonna do, it's just gonna bring up her natural color just a little bit more. It's gonna blend in these highlights and just really make everything really blended. And it's also gonna tone these brand new blonde pieces that we just put in there. All right, so we're gonna start in the bottom section here. And this is usually, I always like to start in the bottom because if I do need to rinse it first, we're underneath um, and it's just easier to rinse. And it's also where the client's hair is the darkest. So I'm just gonna be applying this all the way through about an inch to inch and a half down, making sure to really saturate this. Now, because I'm only using 15 volume and I'm using the Goldwell Top Chic 10P, this is my secret sauce formula. Um, you guys are lucky that I'm giving this to you because it's funny, the girl who I started assisting for back in the day when I was assisting, she was like, don't tell anybody this formula. So you guys, got this formula, hopefully she doesn't see this video. Anyways, uh, this formula truly is the secret sauce though. I've tried base bumps with other things, I've even tried it with products that are meant for base bumps, and I've never been really truly happy with the results. I really like the way that this turns out though. So as you guys can see, I'm just really getting this in there, applying it super quickly, and that's the thing with the base bump is you gotta move fast. So I'm just kinda slapping it in there. I do like using this wider frame arm brush because it allows me to kinda get the color in there but we're just applying it about inch, inch and a half down, really trying to make sure that we get all of those roots in there. So some of them are a little bit longer because um, it's been a little bit while, a longer time since she's got her hair done. Um, and then obviously just applying it to that hairline right there. And then we'll move up the head. And I personally just like to section it out, just makes it a little bit easier as I'm working through the hair, um, especially with somebody who has a lot of hair. And just keep working all the way through. You 
guys will notice the key with the base bump is getting it on quickly. So you guys are gonna see, I'm not super precise, I'm not super, super clean, um, but because the color is kind of a little bit more liquidy um, and we're applying it to wet hair, it's not really a big deal, um, but I'm just kind of going in fast because I don't want the back to start processing while the front is not on yet. So. Um, I get it on really, really fast, and it does take practice to kind of work with base bumps like this, but um, you'll get better as the more you do it. So now that I've applied it all the way through, I'm just kind of combing it down a little bit. Um, because this is 10P, which stands for pearl, it's actually doing toning while it's lifting her base, which is really, really cool. So now I'm gonna have her lay all the way back for us. And I usually just let her process for, it depends. Every client you kind of have to watch for, but if you can come a little bit closer, you're going to kind of lift the color just a little bit and you're kind of looking for the natural color just to start lifting a slight bit. Now this takes practice to kind of see where the color is at, but you don't want it to get warm. The second it starts to pull warmth, you want to rinse it off. So like I said, some clients this is five minutes, some clients this is seven minutes. Um, with her, we usually do about five minutes total, meaning the time we started applying it. Um, so you guys can start to see it's just kind of like slightly lifting her natural color in there It's probably gonna be a little hard to see on camera um, Just because it's one of those things that you have to kind of just train your eye for but you can kind of see it right around the hairline um, And then even as you kind of get back further up into here Let's see if we can open up her hair back here. You guys can kind of see um, It's just starting to pull just slightly a little bit of warmth right at the root um, nothing too bad at all. Let's see, let's open it up over here. It's looking really good. So what I like to do while I'm just waiting for this to process, I'll just kind of pull it through with my fingers. Again, it's kind of acting as that toner on those blonde pieces and it's looking super, super good. I think she's just about ready to rinse. All right, so you guys can see after that base bump, it just slightly shifted her base, just a little bit lighter. You guys can see it toned those blondes, made them just a little bit softer. I'm excited to show you guys what this looks like dry, but you guys can just see just the subtle difference. And that's the thing with the base bump is you don't want it to shift the base so much where it's even shifting at a full level. I would even consider this just a half a level shift, but I just think it makes everything blend so nicely. So this is our final look for her base bump and you guys can really see how it just softened her natural color just a tiny little bit. It's not gonna, like I said, lift it to a next level lighter. That's not what we want it to do. We just wanna soften it and also tone those highlights so that everything blends really nicely. And I honestly love how this turned out. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and I would love to know in the comments if you like videos like this, do you like seeing videos that are a little bit deeper dive on a particular technique or a specific topic? Or do you still like seeing me do a model from start to finish? Let me know because of course I wanna make sure that I'm doing videos that you love. And I don't know, I was trying something different to see if you guys like these kind of like more specific, shorter, quick to the point type videos. So just let me know in the comments. And I think I said that like 16 times. Anyways, if you haven't already come over to Instagram and said hi, make sure to do that. Send me a DM, uh, take a screenshot of this video and post it in your story so that I can see where you're watching in from. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you haven't already done that, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, then we can hang out every single week when I post a new video here on YouTube. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and taking the time to leave a comment, send me a message, and all that fun stuff. I love hearing from you guys, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. So, I'll see you then.